I'm here in the holistic dentistry office in Tijuana, Mexico of Dr. Lagos. I've just had two of my remaining root canals pulled out and um, this video is going to talk a little bit about the dangers of root canals and mercury fillings and how toxic they are. I've been a dentist for 39 years and uh, my first years I was a main traditional dentist. I find out about Dr. Huggins protocol and the first thing at that time was that mercury was toxic and uh, we were using amalgams which is 50% is mercury and I was told about all the reactions that mercury can have to the rest of the body so I start reading learning about it and then I make the decision to to go attend to do a, 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 a seminar with Dr. Huggins and that's how I started. So basically you started off your career as a normal dentist, mainstream. Right. You're actually giving people root canals. Correct. Now you're, now you're taking them out. I'm taking them out and I'm being root canals. I would say I've been, I haven't done a root canal in 25 years. Wow. 25 years or more. Okay, let me just remove mine. Sure. I just pull Toby's molars with root canals and as you see here, let me point with my finger, you can see a cyst holding on the tip of that root. So that shouldn't be there? That shouldn't be there. That, that is basically infection. Wow. On the outside. That doesn't mean the other one it doesn't have infection. This one also, when you have a root canal too, there's always, is there always a source of infection. So how long do you think that cyst has been there for or you have no way of knowing? Mm, there's no way to know. So this, this, why does a cyst form on the bottom of the, of the root? Because when you have a, a root canal, there's bacteria always building up inside the tube. And when they spread outside, the body has the ability to encapsulate. And that's why that lump is formed right there. It's a form as how our body start encapsulating the infection. Wow. And it just it just slowly leaks bacteria into the body, into the bloodstream. That's correct. Just and just forever. If you don't get it removed, it's just it just stays. Yeah, it's forever, constantly. Wow. And so you're just giving your body all this extra work to fight the infection. Exactly. 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 Right. And, and as someone who uh, does this for a living, um, what kind of uh, health benefits have your clients seen? from getting their root canals out, like, have, can you explain a little bit about some of your... All kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, good, positive reactions could happen to the body. Depends on, each person is different, but all kinds of reactions. It could be a organ, it could be a, another part of your body who will get the benefit of your heart also. Yeah. is one of the areas that has the same tissue as we have in our mouth and that's what a lot of bacteria can spread, can uh, leave. And uh, so taking out your root canals, you're giving a uh, great benefit to your whole body. Like have they come in with heart conditions and removing their root canal has helped their heart or? They help their heart, they help their brain, they help their, their brain. Wow. lungs. Uh, joints, etc. You know, each part of your body, each organ, depends on each person. Each person has one area that is more vulnerable mm. than other. So the bacteria will grow, will spread, will in the weakens the weakened area of your body. Okay. 
So, so it might manifest as a heart disease for some. It might manifest as Alzheimer's for someone, or right, or, correct, or, or low MS, energy, or low, yeah, low or, energy, yes, or cancer or something cancer like that. Cancer or something and like it, that. And it all comes from the tooth. All right. comes from the wow. That's right. and and why do you think like no one, not many people are talking about that this in the mainstream like. Like for me personally, it took me months to find someone that would even do this. Like I, I read Dr. Hoggins' book, right. um, and, I, and I read, you know, I educated myself on the dangers of mercury fillings and um, and root canals. But I, I, even qualified dentists, they couldn't, they wouldn't help me remove my tooth. Like, why do you think that is? Well, in the United States, I believe that they are afraid that they will there are legal consequences over there. They control them that not to spread, not to say anything about these kind of problems because there's uh, legal problems that can be involved. Sure, licensing, dental right. licensing, yes. you might lose your license. And, right, right, okay. correct. Sure. So that's the cyst right there. Right here. Oh my God, look at it. It's just a chunk of tissue on the tooth. Uh -huh. And so that would have been just leaking bacteria for the rest of my life. Correct. Yes. And sometimes there's no pain. A lot of the times these root canals, you will not have any pain at all. But that, that doesn't mean that there's no infection there. They, 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 they definitely can control other areas of your body can have an effect in other areas of your body without you knowing and sometimes doctors will not know why you're having a problem in, such, in another area of your body and they don't relate it to root canals well. with infection, infection caused by root canals and dead teeth because they're dead. There's, yeah. They are dead. So, so it's just dead tissue sitting in your body, like exactly. rotting away for necrotic tissue. ten years, twenty years. Right, right. Have you had many people write to you or call you after and say, "Hey, my health, my health is so much better since you took out my teeth"? Some of the testimonies that are on my website is because people telling us their experience and what happened after. Yeah. Yes. So they, they pretty much got their health back after they got rid of their, their dead tissue in their Right. Layout. Some right away can feel differences. Others will, will take time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you know how I feel in the next few weeks. But, um, but if you have root canals or mercury fillings, silver fillings, I definitely recommend that you read up on some literature. I'm going to uh, post a couple of books that you can read on uh, Amazon on the description. So like my channel always says, educate yourself and, um, and you'll improve your health and your life.